What's up guys, it's Jeff with iDownloadBlog. Gonna show you how to downgrade your A5 device on Windows. I have my iPhone 4S here, it is in DFU mode. Go ahead and place your device in DFU mode right now. Make sure it's connected to your computer and we're good to go. So, if you don't know how to put your device in a DFU mode, go ahead and check out iDownloadBlog, search for DFU mode there and you'll find out how to do so. Once you have it connected to your computer in DFU mode, you should see it detect the iPhone 4S or your iPad 2 in DFU mode, click extras, then even more, and then click restore. Now for IPSW, you need to locate your 5.0.1 firmware. It needs to be the 9A405 firmware. Make sure you have that one because the 406 firmware isn't yet supported. Once you have the firmware selected, click OK. It is going to ask you for your 5.1.1 firmware this time. So go ahead and open that. And it'll give you a warning saying your baseband will be updated to the very latest iPhone 4S baseband. If you're using an iPhone, then you need to be aware of this. Because if you rely on any software unlocks or a, a GV Sims, then you may not want to update your baseband. So just be aware that it will do that. Now for blobs, go ahead and click remote. If you've already jailbroken your device in the past, uh, that means that your blobs will be saved on Cydia. If not, then hopefully you saved your blobs with Tiny Umbrella, and then you can use the local option. If you don't have your blobs, you can't do this, so don't even continue. Just stop. Just stop right there, because you cannot downgrade if you don't have your SHSH blobs. Okay, so it's going to go through this, this pretty drawn-out process of stitching your blobs, getting everything in order in order to downgrade your firmware, and it's going to actually install a hacked version of iOS 5.1.1 first in order to downgrade to iOS 5.0.1 on your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2 or whatever you use. So you just watch it do its work here. It's uploading RAM disk kernel. Now you see it restoring to hacked iPhone 4, 1, 5.1.1. So it's actually restoring to a hacked version of the latest firmware first, and then it'll go ahead and get 5.0.1 on there for you. So just be patient here. There's really not much you need to do on your end. The hard part is basically done. You've already taken care of that. So just be patient. Let it go through the restoring of system images. Let it go through the restoring of your firmware completely. And you'll be good to go. It's that simple, folks. Now, what are you going to do? What do you plan on doing once you have your, your device restored? to iOS 5.0.1. What is your purpose of doing so? Do you just want a jailbreak? You want to get your jailbreak back? Or do you prefer iOS 5.0.1 for any reason? I don't know. You tell me. I'm, I'm interested to hear who's actually downgrading, who's actually using this, and why. That'll be interesting to hear. Okay, so we are still going, going. Okay, now you see it now. Restore it to iPhone 4, 1. 5.0.1. So it's actually performing the downgrade right now. It's actually restoring to the firmware that we desire, which is 5.0.1. And again, the uh, dev team has not added, or they forgot to add, 9A406 support. So you have to make sure you download the correct 5.0.1 firmware in order, in order to downgrade. And you could find that on iDownload blog as well. It all sounds a little confusing, but don't worry about it. Just make sure you download the 5.0.19A405 firmware and you're good to go. Okay, so it's updating the baseband like it warned you about earlier. This shouldn't affect if you use the, um, the SAM unlock. This should have no bearing on the SAM unlock as far as restoring your unlock with that. So don't worry about that. Okay, your device was successfully downgraded. If the firmware is compatible with Corona A5, you should be able to jailbreak it from the first page of Red Snow. And I'm actually working on a video for that for you now. Working on something for that for you now. So you should see the jailbreak tutorial as well on our channel. Okay. So we're good to go, folks. Red Snow is done. We, we can close out of Red Snow. Let's hop back over and look at our iPhone. You see the little Apple logo there. And eventually it should load up. You can go ahead and set up, perform the initial setup of the iPhone. I dread doing that. I don't know about you guys, but it's kind of boring. But as you can see there, there's a little loading bar. And eventually you'll see the iPhone, little iPhone logo here. Give it a second. Give it a second. <laughs> it's a little slow. 
Okie dokie. There we go. Okay, so there's the iPhone. I've set that up. Now let's head over to our general about, and you see right there, folks, iOS 5.0.1. We are downgraded and good to go. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.